Greetings, esteemed viewers. All this talk of Dragon Age Inquisition in recent weeks, as well as numerous commentaries I've seen uh, on my channel, has spurred me on to think about the nature of role-playing games, and in particular, the future of role-playing games. Now, generally speaking, role-playing games, being my favorite genre in their totality, are divided into two camps. You have the sandbox variant, the open world variant. These games are best embodied by games such as Skyrim and the Fallout series. And Bethesda, of course, is a game developer that uh, represents this quite well, this genre. In the other camp, you have the more story-driven RPGs, which, hitherto at least, had been perhaps best represented by Bioware, at least nominally speaking. There are plenty of other games with great stories, but Bioware was a great exponent, former great exponent of such story-driven RPGs. And of course, no game is wholly one thing or the other. Most games are hybrids of the two. It's almost impossible to have uh, one or the other. After all, Bethesda has some pretty neat stories as well. And there's nothing about a there's nothing about a sandbox RPG that prevents it from having a good story or a compelling story or compelling plot. It's just the level of interaction, the personalized aspects of thing uh, of of things. These things tend to be uh, more in the background. And in a story driven RPG, you're supposed to at least ideally have more interaction with your companions with your characters and so that's probably the the dividing line neither genre is better than the other it's different folks different strokes for different folks and different folks for different strokes but still i like both but my concerns that i'm about to express in this video are primarily directed towards the story driven because i think sandbox rpgs are still in good hands uh, Skyrim remains eminently playable to this day. I still have enjoyed playing it, and I plan most likely on playing it again very soon. And most of this, of course, is due to the brilliant modding community. Let's face it, without the modding community, Skyrim would be collecting dust. And the reality is Skyrim for the consolers is collecting dust because they can't mod the game. That game became old three years ago for them. It didn't become old for us because we can still do lots of stuff with Skyrim. That is the beauty of PC games and, of course, the beauty of the ability to mod things. And the beauty of Bethesda creating such a creation kit to begin with. We can do lots of things with a game that otherwise would have died out a long time ago. And it creates a kind of infinite replay replayability. Story-based mods, appearance mods, combat, magic, everything possible that one can imagine is made possible through the modding community. And of course, I'm not a modder, but I greatly appreciate the efforts and activities of those brilliant souls. And many of you might know, but back in the day for Dragon Age Origins, there was a modding community as well. People created story-driven mods, people created aesthetic mods, appearance mods, combat-based mods, and the Dragon Age Origins modding community on the Nexus in particular was, of course, smaller than that of uh, Bethesda counterparts, but nonetheless, it was pretty vibrant, and I even participated. I lent my voice a few times to uh, several story-based mods, and it was a good time. And Bioware, for whatever reason, I mean, they went to the Frostbite engine, which is a Bungie-developed thing, I think, so there are reasons why you can't mod it, for, because Bungie just doesn't allow that, or who knows. But there were opportunities to mod the game. But more generally, more generally, I want to talk about the direction things are going. I saw a few comments that got me thinking about things, or rather, had... Silently, I was agreeing with the comments because I had thought similar things with respect to the story-based RPG. It seems to me that gone are the days of, of really gripping stories told in the RPG story-based genre. Dragon Age Inquisition is a perfect example of this. Dragon Age 2 is another example of this. Well, the story, I, arguably, is actually better in Dragon Age 2 than it is in Dragon Age Inquisition. And I'm not sure what, what the reason for this is, although I have my ideas and speculation. I think part of it is a new generation, a new generation that, frankly speaking, doesn't like to read very much, uh, doesn't, I don't even read, I don't read nearly as much as I did in the 90s or the 80s. It's obvious, you know, few of us do, whatever our age might be. A generation that prefers quick rewards to, yeah, to long-standing rewards, be it in the form of story or otherwise. And just a, a changing of the guard, a changing of generations. 
people, we live in the age of instant gratification, and I'm no exception. We've all sort of adopted to this climate, acclimated to it, and in fact, I would argue all of, uh, all of us, without exception, are somehow part of the gratification, instant gratification generation. It's a question of degrees. Those of us who are older are probably less prone to the instant gratification mentality, but the younger you are, the more likely you are either a victim of it, a part of it, or however you want to phrase it, uh, an advocate of it. Let's be honest. Instant gratification as a mentality is not going to lend it well, lend itself well to a, a story-based RPG. A story-based RPG usually takes time for character development, for plot development. You need to be patient, you need to be willing to wait to see what happens, and you need to be willing to explore a wide variety of avenues, story avenues as well as world avenues, to arrive at the final point, the final story arc. Most people don't have the patience for that. On the other hand, Skyrim, as an example, which I love, above all, being in an open world, being a sandbox RPG, it's based primarily on exploration and, and doing things. The story is cool. There, I, I like a lot of the story arcs in Skyrim, but it, it's not very personalized, not in the same sense that ideally a Dragon Age game might be. And indeed, there were some personalized elements in Dragon Age Inquisition, let's not deny that. And I think that clicks more, even with the current generation. Uh, on the other hand, there might be a lot of time that is required in developing story-based RPGs. When I think about Bioware, I'm not someone who thinks about the evil shadow that EA casts on everything necessarily, but they do have deadlines, production costs, and they can only do so much. Back in the day, they had more options. I mean, when you're not under the leash of a, of a big corporation, you can take the time you want. perfect example of this is what Obsidian decided to do. They said, okay, we're going to release Pillars of Eternity in the autumn or autumn or winter of 2014 turned out there were a lot of bugs and problems with the combat and said no we're going to release it spring 2015 and because the kinds of supporters of that game the people who donated the people who like the isometric story-based rpgs are patient they're the kinds of people who just they know they want a game that's polished and so yeah cool take your time AAA companies generally don't have that luxury anymore. And I think perfecting story-based RPGs might be the most difficult thing to date, right? Whereas sandbox stuff, at the end of the day, is just kind of adding more cool stuff to it. There are more areas to explore. And that is arguably less difficult than t telling an intricate story that's going to grip people and suck them in. Uh, t telling a story that sucks people in is hard to do. And there's almost an ineffable that is a quality that cannot lend itself to words well that occurs when you experience such a story. Many of us have played Baldur's Gate 2, Torment was another one, and for me at least for a while, Origins, Dragon Age Origins was one too. That quality to a game where you just you can't really describe it, but you know there's a, you, you're part of you you've in some some sense, in some way, shape or form, you have become that character. And I'm not talking about self insertion. It's just you're so absorbed in the story, you're so absorbed in what's gonna happen or what's not going to happen. That it, it, just, it just sucks you in. But it's been eons for most of us, I think we can agree, since we've experienced a game of that sort. It's just, I mean, and I'm not talking about the exploration. The, I get sucked into Skyrim exploration as well. But I'm talking about the story that didn't occur with Dragon Age Inquisition. A lot of my subs uh, feel the same way. And I think it is the ending of an era. I think it is, it is the, we are experiencing the, 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 the final breaths of the RPG genre as we formally knew it, the story-based. Things in the future will never be as they were. And of course, change is normal. But for me, I'm not entirely positive, but I think as far as AAA mainstream, quote-unquote, story-based RPGs are concerned, I might be done with them. After the Dragon Age Inquisition experience, I am going to give Bioware titles a wide berth. I'm open-minded about Mass Effect, the next Mass Effect 4, but I'm not expecting a whole lot. 
At the very least, I hope they create a better multiplayer. Dragon Age multiplayer is a mess, and I'm disinclined to even play that. However, there is some hope, I suppose. Still waiting for Pillars of Eternity, and I'm open-minded about Witcher 3, so we'll see. Having said all that, I'm still looking forward to the sandbox games. Skyrim, I haven't played in ages, so I feel like it's almost going to feel like a new game with some of the mods I haven't tried. And... Yeah, things still have a bright side to them. It's just the games that used to suck me in the most, the story-based stuff, that seems to be part of antiquity. Notice how everyone is kind of going retro. You know, play. lots of people suggesting that I play Planescape, which I played many times in the past. Uh, no one suggested Baldur's Gate 2, interestingly enough, and so on. And that's because some of the best RPGs really are, a, are, are relics. What amazing RPG, story-based, character-driven, has been released in the last six or seven years. I can't think of one, and it might be just because I'm ignorant, but there you go. I think we're seeing a changing of the guard, and I will probably remain part of the older generation. After all, I'm not young, and I'm not entirely part of the instant gratification generation. And so I find this a sad departure, but... I will be casting a wide berth. I will be wary in the future with, towards Bioware products, especially the RPG sort, because I think they've lost their magic, they've lost their fire. And we can argue for probably days as to why. I've talked about different reasons in previous videos. I'm not going to repeat myself here. But looking forward to future sandboxes for sure. And I hope, I hope sincerely that the Pillars of Attorney turns out to be what people hope it is. Although, once again, I am exercising caution there as well. Anyways, I'd be happy and very pleased to read comments about this. There seems to be, as I said, hope and well, continued hope for, uh, or continual hope for the sandbox genre. The story-based genre seems to be going down the toilet rather quickly. I don't think we're going to go back there, but maybe I'm just old. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. As always, your views and likes are appreciated. Everyone take care, and bye-bye.